Hey YouTube. So today I'm making a video review of this Appion valve core removal tool. Um, I've had this one in particular for a year now. This one's a second generation of the tool. There's uh, an engravement here on the swivel part. It says F15 Appion. Um, the first generation tool is this one. There's no engravement whatsoever on the swivel. They look pretty much identical, same size, same everything. But like I say, this one's a second generation. It's got an engravement here, Appion, and on the back side here too, Appion. Um, these are great tools. I use them mostly for pulling vacuums on systems. Um, what you would normally do if you wanted to pull the core off of a, like the Schrader core, you would screw this onto the access port, and then you push this uh, stem in until it makes contact with the core. And I normally have to turn it for it to go in a little bit more. And then you would unscrew this part here until you're all the way, it's all the way unscrewed. And then you pull it out, shut off your valve, unscrew this part of the tool here. And then your core should come out and it should stay on there. And the reason I say should is because I've had a, a few times where it stays stuck in the valve. Where it, so I'd have to screw it back in, open up the valve, push this in, screw the core back in, and put apply a little bit more pressure on it to make sure it grabs it. And then screw this back out, shut off your valve, take this out, and then you should have your core. Um, this is a full port design. So you could see right through there, there's no restrictions. Uh, a Schrader core is actually quite a big restriction. So um, like I said, I use this for pulling vacuums. You could also use it to recover refrigerant. It's, uh, yeah, they're a great tool. Now you'll notice a side port on the tool. This is if you're pulling, say a vacuum, you would unscrew this cap here. They come with little aluminum caps. I discarded those and put these brass cap with o-rings on them uh, so anyways you would say you're, you'd pull a vacuum here you'd have your vacuum hose on this port you'd hook up your micron gauge here and then say you're pulling a vacuum for an hour and you want to do a blank off test so you would shut off this valve and then now your micron gauge is open to the system this is closed off to the system um, so then I would wait for I would do a vacuum rise test and see how high it goes type thing. And if I got to continue pulling a vacuum, I'll just open this valve, leave it go. Um, if I'm done though, I'll leave this closed and then I'll disconnect my vacuum gauge or my vacuum uh, hose rather, hook up my gauges and obviously purge. And normally I keep a valve here. I valve off my micron gauge. You probably don't have to, but that's, that's what I do. And then I would just go ahead and charge the system up and once it's charged, I normally just put, say, a pound in the system. And I'll close this off and then put my stem back in. So you just insert this, screw this on. Now you got a little bit of pressure in the system. So when you open this, you don't have to worry about it sucking in some non-condensables non and stuff. So screw your stem back in. It'll go in the system, in that port. And then you just pull off the tool. Uh, these are great tools. I almost can't do without them anymore. Um, I would highly recommend them. I'd give this tool a 9 out of, the, of a 10. Um, only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 out of a 10 is because I've had it where, like I said, the coral stays stuck in the body here, which is quite annoying. Um, they're rated down to 20 microns. Why don't we hook it up to a vacuum gauge or a vacuum pump and see what they pull down to? Okay, we're back here, got the pump going. I just have the micron gauge hooked up, no tool. Uh, just to show you guys that the pump is pulling down good. Um, fresh oil, just change the oil on it. So we're at 25 microns there. I'll hook up the tool and we'll see how low she goes. Okay, we're back here. Got the valve cord removal tool right on the pump. Micron gauge. Pulling at 28 microns. And I've got this valve closed here where you normally have your hose on. And no cap on the port just to show you guys that it's uh, well sealed. Thanks for